This is how I made the video for No Return. I was kind of determined to do a one-shot video, so my initial idea was to use uh, different projections to keep things interesting. Uh, so I imagined a wide shot with three projectors on three different screens with found footage uh, that would change kind of cut throughout the song uh, to make it cool. And um, that's where we'll start. I mapped out in a timeline when um, the fans start and when uh, fog shoots out. Oh, like rising action here where the song kind of starts to get more intense. Uh, so that helped me edit the three uh, projections. To start getting an idea of the overall look, I did, you know, some pictures. I initially was thinking four projection screens, but ended up doing three. Uh, this is kind of a map of the living room with uh, dimensions and stuff, where the fans, cameras, you know, there's a fog machine, uh, yada yada. So all the videos in it are old films that are in the public domain that I found from the Prelinger archives. And I, I edited three different videos for one, you know, one for each projector. A lot of the footage is from National Park films in the 50s and 60s, and it's gorgeous on its own. Uh, you know, I've got some trip through Utah. We've got a little white magic. We've got a little. This this is actually called the River of No return, so I had to use some clips of that. Uh, we've got above the clouds, heritage we guard. So one of the first things I did was make a mock-up before I started hanging screens and projecting to kind of get an idea of uh, what the shot would look like when it was done, how much space the projectors would take up, and how I would be able to move throughout the shot. Stand in. He helps me see where the projections are gonna fall on my face and whatnot. Really big help. I have to control some things with my feet. This controls that fan. I'm gonna blow my curtains around. And this is a foot pedal for the fog machine so I can control it on the fly. Yeah, it's 11, and I fogged a little too hard, uh, so fire alarms went off, and uh, I think I gotta be content with that last take I got. Initial plan to just do one shot didn't quite work out. Uh, one, because of the fire alarm, but then two, uh, after some feedback, it seemed like I needed something a little more interesting. So I decided to do a second shoot to add some shot variety. I've nailed my daughter's blankets to the frame of the windows and I'm now set up with two projectors, um, three screens in the corner. I've uh, got maybe five takes of a medium shot, five takes of a close-up shot, so. So I've dropped them in a timeline, and gold is close-ups. These are the medium shots, and I've enabled uh, multi-camera editing. So now I can um, pretty much just hit play, and using numbers, I can tell uh, the editor which shot I want to see at what Time. All the projections will line up. However, I'll be doing something slightly different and I'm gonna see if that helps the video feel a little more interesting. So my initial plan of, you know, doing a simple one-shot video didn't really work because I kind of had to edit three found footage videos, project them all, perform the song ten times, and then go back through those 10 performances and edit the video that you see now. I think it was worth it. So that's how I made the video for No Return. Uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, so thanks for tuning in.